Good morning. Could we get this music first before we get into this session, a short one, uh, titled Biotechnology. It can't go on forever. So let's dive in. We're told by economists that uh, the effects of industrialization, capitalism and consumerism have direct impacts on the environment. One such case is this idea of non-biodegradable plastics. Plastics are a group of compounds. Uh, they can be synthetically made or manufactured if I might use the correct word, or they might be naturally occurring. Uh, for now, let's just zero in on what we want to talk about, plastics, uh, because I've said they're a group of compounds. There's so many of them, and uh, I've also, also mentioned that they're uh, manufactured, which means they can be synthetic or natural. Um, there could be over hundreds of different types of these uh, plastics. So the ones which are non-biodegradable are the ones which are of concern to many um, environmentalists because of their non-biodegradability, it means that they plug, um, for instance, water pipes um, when they're dumped into uh, water, water uh, fronts. They can cause a lot of blockages. Um, you can think about so many other environmental effects of these. So I was watching a certain video uh, which I liked, it was dealing with the different types of biotechnology, and then it angled in on uh, a certain uh, compound known as polylactic acid, PLA, indicated there, down here. Uh, lactic acid is a byproduct of fermentation. Uh, when you ferment ethanol under certain conditions, it could give you either ethanol or it could give you uh, lactic acid. That is if you're fermenting sugar, not ethanol, sorry, if you're fermenting sugar. So under this condition where we're producing lactic acid, uh, we can then, um, as explained in that video, you can actually create certain temperatures, certain conditions, even, including even pressure <coughs> that could result in uh, these lactic acid molecules binding up together to form the polylactic acid uh, molecule. And that is now what we call a biodegradable plastic, which means it can be decomposed. So I noticed that this product is now being used in uh, making salad bowls, as explained there. Um, you know, these things be used in kitchens. Plastics are to be used in kitchens, uh, even glasses you know, maybe disposable glasses um, and those types of utensils. So I was very impressed by the explanation in that video. It was almost a documentary, and uh, I'll send it so that you can also get a feel of these um, industrial matters. You know, biotechnology has gone high. And in that video, I noticed that they, they classified them into three, red, uh, white, and green. So this idea of uh, biodegradable plastics falls under green. And then the red one is where we have from pharmaceuticals and medicine. I'm veering off the main uh, topic, uh, but I think that is also relevant so that you know the background of what I'm talking about here. So I'll send you um, a video. I'll merge the two different sections because they came in different parts, so I'll merge two different sections of it and create some flow out of it which I hope will be helpful. Thank you and good day. Uh, 
obstacles for the lactic acid as you can see down there.